Hello, welcome back to Ideas in Photography. Use your technology, don't be trapped by it. Remember the whole point of this vlog is about ideas. It's not about technology. You can find that plenty elsewhere. So I'm using a different technology to get a different result. Just see what it's like. But that led me to think, well, well where do I get my ideas? Where do I get my information? Well, the main thing I do, I've always been an avid reader of newspapers, etc. Do a lot of it online. But I do make an effort to get this magazine on, on a Saturday. It's a financial paper here in the UK. And really, it's got some of the best photographs around at the minute. A, it's got the money. And B, it's clientele have the money to buy photography. So here you have a really nice set of pictures on Judith Kerr um, by Thomas Wind. And that's the sort of pictures he's doing. Really nice shot. So, But the important thing here is irrespective of how good or bad the pictures are, so not bad adverts as well, is that you need to have an understanding of what's happening in the world. You are part of the world, you are reporting on, you are commenting on what is happening. You are not commenting on the spider in the corner of your room. Well, that might be fascinating to be fascinating with spiders, but you need to know the context of spiders. So try and work out what you are interested in and then avidly read about it. Go to the highest source of information, that's primary sources, good newspapers, magazines, books, and then try and work out what you want to do. Now, then that leads me perhaps to a few technical books. Now, they're quite difficult nowadays because digital technology is very all encompassing, there's lots of information. So let's just try with light for a minute. Light is the main thing about photography. We are painters with light, which is what photography means. So the first thing, let's try and choose the right one, is two focal press books. This is um, uh, Light, Science and Magic. It's probably the best book about photographic lighting around at the minute. It's quite detailed, lots of information in here. And really, if you're a studio photographer, you need to have a copy of that. Its counterpart, in the terms of architectural photography, is Follow the Sun, which is this book here. Again, focal press, this one's by James Ewing. The Light, Science and Magic was a, a, a number of people. And this will give you the basic information about photographing as an architectural photographer. Really quite interesting. Now the third one is, now I, I mainly photograph people. That's the thing I, I'd like to do most of my life as a photographer. And Henry Carroll has produced this really nice book, which the title is self-explanatory. And it's, if you want to take great photograph of people, because the key with people is not lighting, is how you interact with the person, how you actually communicate. Because in each portrait, there are three people. There's you as a photographer, your subject, and of course then, ugh, how many fingers have I got? The third person is the viewer. And it's how you interrogate that triangle that is the main thing. So there's some of my ideas of how you actually get information and you move forward. But the main thing, the main thing is so important as a photographer, as an artist, as a designer, whatever you wish to call yourself, you need to know what's going on in the world. If you don't know that, they become personal amateur pictures. If you want to communicate visually with the world, you have to know what the world is about and you have to know how to communicate that thing to the world. So you have to read, you have to come out your garret, you have to come out your silo. And then, if you read the books, if you watch the programmes, if you go to the films, then you'll have an idea of what you want to do. And don't worry if someone's done it before, because there's always another way. And the key with that, as a photographer, is you go and make pictures. So find your ideas, work out your technology, and go and make some great pictures. So Ideas of Photography, out.